Man City 1-1 Manchester United highlights and reaction as City win Community Shield on penalties. A full recap of events from Wembley as Manchester City beat Manchester United on penalties to win the Community Shield. Manchester City defeated Manchester United on penalties to win the 2024 Community Shield at Wembley on Saturday afternoon. Bernardo Silva, fresh from the substitute's bench, netted a late equalizer for City to send the contest to a penalty shootout. Fellow substitute Alejandro Garnacho had given United the lead just seven minutes earlier. United, who had wasted a cluster of chances over the course of the 90 minutes, were in control for much of the shootout until Jaden Sancho and Johnny Evans fluffed their lines. Sancho was denied by Ederson, and Evans chipped the ball over the top. Manuel Akanji scored the decisive penalty for City after Bernardo had missed their opening spot kick, being denied by Andre Onana. The Swiss international's effort from the spot sealed a 7-6 triumph. It marked an end to City's wretched Community Shield record in recent years, meaning they will head into next weekend's Premier League opener against Chelsea with a spring in their step. United will open their Premier League account against Fulham at Old Trafford next Friday night. Alejandro Garnacho was on the bench for United for the first time since October at Wembley. He will not be there against Fulham next week. Coincidentally, the last occasion Garnacho was listed as a substitute by Eric Ten Hag was against City. Garnacho demonstrated again how potent he can be against the champions 11 weeks on from the FA Cup final. Garnacho, the opening scorer at Wembley, started as he ended last season. Despite the absence of an established striker, Ten Hag has a surfeit of options in attack, and Garnacho can expect to be promoted back to the starting lineup against Fulham on Friday. City's players have just lifted the community shield aloft on the Wembley balcony. It is not the most important trophy they will be hoping to win this season, but it is always important to get the season off to a winning start. Next up is next weekend's Premier League opener at Chelsea. City beat United on penalties to win the Community Shield at Wembley this afternoon. Manuel Akanji dispatched the final penalty of the shootout to seal a 7-6 triumph after the contest had finished 1-1 at the end of 90 minutes. Here is how Chief City writer Simon Baikowski rated City's players out of 10. Ederson Dropped a dolly that he got away with, and then let's say he did enough to put Rashford off in the second half. 6. Lewis Roaming for the first time in ages, charging forward into the number eight spaces and pushing on into the box whenever he could. 7. Akanji Solid enough, with his presence and game intelligence also allowing Lewis to get forward. Converted winning penalty 6 United lost the Community Shield showdown on penalties at Wembley. The contest had finished 1-1 at the end of 90 minutes before City triumphed 7-6 from the spot. Here is how Chief United writer Samuel Luckhurst rated United's players out of 10. Andre Onana Had little handling to do in the first half, but his distribution was questionable at times. Not as erratic after halftime. 6. Diogo Dallo rinsed by Jeremy Doku in the first half. He had a calmer start to the second and moved across to left back when Harry Maguire went off, converted his penalty. 6. Harry Maguire coped decently amid City's spells of pressure and came through unscathed after missing the friendly with Liverpool last week. 6. You have to say that's been coming for City in the second half. Marcus Rashford's miss was a warning sign they haven't heeded. Bruno Fernandes got too much space again. Josco Gvardiol was caught out of position to allow Alejandro Garnacho space to run into, and he finished well. Gvardiol did the same from centre-back versus Barcelona in pre-season. It's been a quiet afternoon for City, and there is no sign of Kevin De Bruyne coming on despite him still walking around on the side of the pitch. Pep Guardiola was on his knees well before Garnacho got the ball and stayed there for a few seconds as the United end erupted. That's a stunning finish from Bruno Fernandes, and City are delighted to see the flag go up. It should wake the team up, too. There was an offside call about a minute earlier that City's defenders were furious about as it wasn't given. They all turned to shout at the linesman. 
He got that one right at least. City have sent Kevin De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva, Savino, Nathan Ake, and Calvin Phillips out to warm up at the start of the second half. De Bruyne and Savino getting big cheers in particular. There was plenty of room to improve in that first half, so having those players to call upon helped significantly. It's remarkable we've not had a goal in this game. After Bruno Fernandes wastes a great chance at one end, other news. Man United ready to hijack AC Milan's transfer move for Yusuf Fofana, and France star would welcome move. He is one of a number of targets Man United are said to be weighing up. Manchester United are ready to hijack AC Milan's move for Yusuf Fofana, according to reports. And in a boost for Manut, the midfielder would apparently welcome the move. Fofana has been open to moving to Milan this summer, but the Serie A side are struggling to meet Monaco's transfer demands. It's thought that Monaco would want around £30 million for Fofana. West Ham have also showed an interest, but the Frenchman does not want to move to the London Stadium. Gazzetta dello Sport report that Fofana is Paolo Fonseca first choice to bolster the Milan midfield, but there are now fears in the club that he will join Manchester United instead. It wouldn't be the first time that United have hijacked a Milan move this summer, with the club also signing Joshua Zerk Z from under the Rossoneri's noses. Fofana played 32 times for Monaco in League One last season, scoring four goals and registering four assists. He was also a member of the France squad at the Euros. United's interest in a defensive midfielder is well established this summer. The club are interested in PSG's Manuel Ugarte and have agreed personal terms but are continuing to haggle over a fee for the midfielder. They are also open to loaning Sofian Amrabat from Fiorentina again, with the Moroccan picking up form towards the end of the season for United. Signing Ugarte or Fofana would seemingly close the door on that option, though. In terms of outgoings, United have been determined to keep hold of Scott McTominay so far. Manchester United are reportedly preparing to swoop in and disrupt AC Milan's planned transfer for French midfielder Yusuf Fofana. The Red Devils have identified Fofana as a top target and are ready to make a move to secure his signing from AS Monaco. AC Milan had been in advanced talks with Monaco, aiming to bring Fofana to the San Siro. However, Manchester United's sudden interest has thrown a wrench into their plans. United are set to make a competitive offer to outbid the Italian club and convince Fofana to join them instead. Fofana, known for his impressive performances in League One, has become one of the most sought-after midfielders in Europe. His dynamic playing style and ability to control the midfield have caught the attention of several top clubs. As the transfer window progresses, the race for Fofana's signature is heating up, with Manchester United looking to make a decisive move to secure the talented midfielder and bolster their squad for the upcoming season. According to Gazzetta dello Sport, Yusuf Fofana has emerged as Paolo Fonseca's top target to strengthen AC Milan's midfield. The Italian club's manager has been keen on bringing the talented French midfielder to the San Siro to enhance their squad for the upcoming season. However, recent reports have stirred concerns within AC Milan. There are growing fears that Manchester United could derail their plans by making a late, aggressive push for Fofana. The Premier League giants have reportedly identified Fofana as a priority signing and are preparing a competitive offer to persuade him to join Old Trafford instead of Milan. Fofana, who has been a standout performer for AS Monaco, is highly sought after due to his dynamic and commanding presence in midfield. His ability to disrupt opposition play and drive forward has made him a valuable asset for top European clubs. With Manchester United stepping up their interest, AC Milan's management is anxious about potentially losing their top midfield target to the English side. The situation has created a sense of urgency within the Rossoneri camp as they scramble to secure Fofana's signature before United can make a decisive move. As the transfer window continues, the battle for Yusuf Fofana's signature is expected to intensify with Manchester United aiming to outmaneuver AC Milan and secure a major addition to their squad.
Manchester United are reportedly poised to hijack AC Milan's move for French midfielder Yusuf Fofana, according to recent reports. The Premier League giants have emerged as serious contenders in the race to sign the talented AS Monaco player, potentially disrupting Milan's plans to bolster their midfield. AC Milan had been actively pursuing Fofana, who is considered a key target for their manager, Paolo Fonseca. The Rossoneri had made significant progress in their negotiations, aiming to bring the 25-year-old to the San Siro as a central part of their squad for the upcoming season. However, Manchester United's sudden interest in Fofana has shaken up the transfer landscape. United are now prepared to make a competitive offer to outmaneuver Milan and secure Fofana's signature. The move represents a strategic effort by United to enhance their midfield options. Meanwhile, 